Hi Power BIers, this is Seth from Power BI Tips. Today I want to walk through all the different options we have at our disposal to provide contextual help to our end users. One of the most important jobs we have as report authors is to clearly communicate and help our audience understand what is on the page and how to use it. The contextual help we add usually relates to data or functionality, and we have a ton of functionality that we can add into all of our reports. So, Typically, when we help users understand the key data elements or overall filter set or context of the report view, we use certain functions to do that. And in some cases, there's different methods to help when we're trying to outline the functionality within each of the report pages. So this video is gonna walk through a bunch of those options quickly. And this assumes that you know how to make bookmarks create and hide elements on a page and create hidden pages for tooltips, etc. So let's jump into it. The first method is really straightforward. And what we're going to do is uh, in this method is on the upper left hand side, you'll notice that we have some additional screen real estate in this report. And we're just going to add that help context directly into the page without the user having to click on anything. What you'll see is I have a gray background. I created this by um, in, in implementing a button. And that outline of the rounded corners is something that I can do in the options of the outline. I've added in a gray fill and then just added a text box on top. One of the things when using text on a page that we want to do is either f uh, focus in bold or in color. And in my case, I've used bold and color to outline the the highlight or highlight key messages within the phrase that I'm uh, putting on the page. This pops out the key elements for the end user. And if they don't read the whole thing, at least they're going to get that. And it helps provide context for what they're looking at. The second way that we can add contextual help is the tooltip. You may be familiar with the normal tooltip from the standpoint that as you hover over a bar or uh, other chart that the tooltip pops up. We can make advanced tooltips by creating separate pages. But recently, Microsoft added a new tooltip that shows up in the header of each visual. And I'll show you how to do that. By clicking on the visual, what we want to do is go over to the right hand side to our formatting pane and go all the way to the bottom to visual header. As we expand that, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and keep going. And what you'll notice is at the very bottom, we have this new selection called visual header tooltip icon that we can now toggle on. Once we do that, it adds another selection underneath that called visual header tooltip. Let's expand that, scroll down, and now we have a bunch of options to select from. You'll notice that I already added in a sentence here. And if we come over, we see on this visual that this question mark is now part of my header. As I hover over it, you'll see that I have the sent a sentence in here. One of the things you'll notice on the last line is it seems to cut off and it does because this method only allows for 250 characters to be input into this tooltip. Now a neat way around this in the same way that with our original tooltip, we can make custom tooltips. We can also do the same thing um, with this visual header tooltip. So if we select the image above, what you'll notice is rather than uh, in line text, I've selected a, a tooltip page. So in the same way that we could create a tooltip page and hover over, now I have a different pop-up that allows me to show all of the sentence that I want in a background that I want. And that tooltip page looks exactly like those other custom tooltip pages that we've created in the past. So once again, I can hover over and I get that tooltip for that particular visual. And that's set up on the bottom by selecting the tooltip uh, underneath the visual header tooltip page. The other way we can do in context help is something that we do quite a bit at Power BI.tips. And that's creating overlays on top of our report. So what you'll notice is I've created a button with a question mark. And as I control click, an overlay pops up onto the page. And I can create a transparency that still lets me see that page and then add whatever elements I want 
to help the end user understand whether it's this visual or something on the report page that I want to add more context on. So this gives me an entire page to work with and it really doesn't take the user anywhere else. So this is accomplished by using bookmarks and showing and hiding different things. So if, as I control click, I'm taken back to the same page. So let's take a look at what elements I've, I've used to create this page. So by clicking on that uh, question mark, an overlay shows up where you'll notice that I've grouped together a whole slew of features where I have several images, I have a background shape, and then a transparent shape on top. And what I'm doing is I get that back click functionality by adding an action to that clear overlay of, of a bookmark and it goes back to my base page. So as I click on that, I'm anywhere on the canvas, I'm taken back to the, the main page that I was on. So that's a really neat and, and straightforward way to do uh, contextual help is using that bookmark and um, grouping of hidden images to pop forward and back um, depending on what the user needs some assistance with. Another thing we can do is I've created another um, image icon here that I've in, uh, uploaded. And by clicking on this, what we'll notice happens is I'm navigated to a different report page. So much in the same way that I created a tooltip page, um, what we can do is we can create a whole page that the, the entire report could reference. So this could be a hidden thing where I'm adding in all of the functionality of a particular report or uh, a lot of context around what are the different uh, data elements that I'm going to see on each of the pages. So rather than having multiple overlays on multiple different pages, I can just have a singular page within my report that contains all of that information that I can reference at any time with that, that button clicking back takes me back to the page that I was on. So I really like that one from the standpoint that um, it extends and it's a singular place and I don't have to build multiple different overlays on different pages, but at the same time, there's a use case for both of those. And for our final method, I'm gonna show you uh, a way to really extend this uh, to have a singular place for all reports. And there's new functionality now that we can select uh, the question mark here. And what you'll notice is I was taken to a completely different um, location. So rather than have a link or an action for this button uh, direct me to something within my report, I can now call a web URL. In our case, we have um, a report features report um, where we create all the functionality in a singular report and show that in one location. So now I can have one single spot or one single report where I create all this information that could pertain to any report I have. So it's kind of that documentation, right? So uh, if your organization has a documentation page, this is a great method to do that by embedding that URL into that question mark on the report page. Uh, and that's easily done in creating the same thing we did with that bookmark just from the standpoint that I create a button except my action is a web URL and then I point to um, a Power BI report that is uh, set up as a published web report but you wouldn't even need to do a published web if everybody uh, in your organization had the pro license um, that is where they would be consuming the report anyways in the service uh, so clicking on that would automatically just pop up that window and they would see um, that report as well. So I hope this tutorial showed you all the different ways that we can add contextual help to our uh, Power BI reports. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out all of our other great content at powerbi.tips.